Welcome back to the road. Today we are making an extra special visit to the land of Oz, or Wamingo, Kansas. On the surface, Wamingo appears to be a typical Kansas town, or maybe every Kansas town has some hidden wonder to it. A lot of geniuses come out of this state. After all, there must be something special here. The town has a lot to make it special, but the main thing that attracted us to stop by this time was the visit of Oz Museum. Of course, we can't visit the Oz Museum until we have followed the yellow brick road. And yes, Flamingo has a yellow brick road. Along the road, there are a lot of depictions of events from the great story most of us have experienced in movie form. You will also notice Toto throughout the town. In this case, the yellow brick road seems to have led us to the city park, which has a few surprises in addition to being a beautiful green space. There are ponds, fountains, a recreation of an old town, a veterans memorial, and even an old Dutch mill. Let's have a look. I especially like this Dutch mill. It was built by an immigrant farmer back in 1870. In the 1920s, it was dismantled and moved to the park. Now, let's head back down the yellow brick road to see this Oz Museum. There's a lot in here, and I'm told that a lot of this was probably very scary to kids who grew up watching this iconic movie. While I can now say I was completely ignorant of this story and film growing up, I was definitely more familiar with Journey to the West and the Monkey King. You can look that up sometime. Dragon Ball Z was based on that. Back on subject, this place has a lot of great artwork and memorabilia, as well as incredible restrictions of costumes and props. Does everyone have a favorite of the three companions that went along with Dorothy? I always liked the Scarecrow, and there he is. They have the other two as well, so don't worry. Really is no place like home.
That's really scary looking. I think I mentioned that this film may have haunted some childhoods. I can imagine so with this sort of imagery. The museum also has some bits and bobs from other later films centered on the land of Oz. For our last stop, we're heading a bit out of town to visit the Mount Michu Heritage Prairie. There isn't much here, but that's the beauty of it. I don't know how to describe the sound of the wind rushing over the tall grass, other than one of the most smoothing sound I have ever heard. It's a sea of grass, complete with waves. If you have never experienced this, I highly recommend it. Coming here at dusk or dawn. I know life was hard for settlers and those who came before them, but what a saying they had in the unspoiled beauty of nature. This is a unique place out here on the prairie. I can't say the time struggling life carries on here as it has for generations. There is incredible beauty in those plants. I can't imagine the visit of us trading it even for the Emerald City. I hope you enjoyed the visit to Wamungo, Kansas. Be sure to make a stop if you are in the area. Thank you for watching. See you next time.